Hello guys, this is Ron again. <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to unlock your Samsung Captivate phone. I am going to follow uh, a couple of procedures. Is I don't know if you guys are aware, but the, the Captivate has had an upgrade to fix the GPS and a couple of other things. I'm going to show you first here that uh, the display uh, the version that we have here is the 2.1 but it is the JX I mean JH7 JXH7 which that's the problem that we have in some of the other methods to unlock has not been successful so I'm gonna try a new one that I just saw maybe this one will work but we can try it together so let me go back here to the, and uh, the first thing that I had to do was to unlock it was to unlock the phone unlock not to uh, root the phone and I used one of the methods and I'll, I'll show you on my other video but uh, here basically I had to install a couple of apps in order to do uh, what I wanted to unlock basically after the phone is root you're gonna see this icon here called the super user and it gives, gives you no capability of uh, allowing you to go into the system uh, files and folders of your phone which normally would not have this program here called root explorer uh, if you haven't heard you're gonna need that so we have to go back to the market and download that root explorer you just type it in and uh, you're gonna find root explorer is one of them I just downloaded it and installed it so I have it here and this is the new market interface anyway in case you haven't seen it anyhow <clears throat> so this is one step you're gonna need to have that installed in order to do this the way that I'm hoping it will work um, so this is one phase the other phase is first you need to download this app that used to be available on the market but is I think they took it down for some reason but if you go into this particular folder here or uh, the XDA developers again did a great job and the website there is you no know, uh, I'll show you the thread you just click on the link but as you go through here there's a couple of notes here on the latest what they found out and it says here that if you have Froyo upgrade or if you have the, the new version of the 2.1 and the phone needs to be rooted and that should work fine so I'm gonna give that a try um, as you go down you're gonna see some files to download and those are the two there is a method that you can do it via the phone or via the the phone which is this app it's an APK file and the other one is the method of uh, using the PC the laptop and that is the the first one here but I just downloaded this one here and basically after I downloaded I connected to my cell phone via cable transfer the application to the to the phone and now I'm ready to install however we have a problem here as we're trying to install anything that's not uh, from the market and I downloaded and I put it here in this directory under the SD card and a directory called downloads but and here is the this app that supposedly unlock and you can try to install it but guess what the install it is blocked because um, the AT&T or you no know, all the operators they try to block you from install apps that's not part of the market which they, that's how they make money right so there's a, another way of you can unlock uh, the installed known applications no market applications is by modifying the database that controls that and in order to do that let's go back to the market and we're gonna need one app that I used um, and that's called the uh, SQL uh, let me go into my apps that's already downloaded I think it's one of mine that uh, SQL editor SQL light editor this one here so we're gonna download that and we're gonna install uh, 
Um, by the way, I found this new market application very slow. Uh, I used to be much quicker than that to get to a page and now every time you go into a new page it's not cached yet on the on the phone oh, it's even having problems with the network now let's try it again I'm connected via Wi-Fi by the way but oh man what is the problem let's try it again okay now I did purchased you're gonna install that That's again is SQL light editor and you're gonna see that uh, it's been here it's been installing and now we're gonna go and edit to that so first of all you're gonna ask for super user request which you have to allow that way you can look for all the databases within <coughs> within your phone and this process takes a little while it is looking for all the files on your phone and all the files that has a database capable of opening with this software okay so those are the files that can be opened from here and instead of finding the file from here I'm gonna go back and to the other program and since I already have the root explorer open and go to the root don't forget to be I'm still on an SD card so we're gonna go back out completely we're gonna look for a folder called DB data database data and inside there there is a directory called databases now this is the directory we need to be DB data slash databases now we're gonna look for the file that we need to do is this one here called com.android.providers.settings that's the file that controls everything inside I mean the folder that controls everything then inside there there is this database here settings.db so we'll go into that and hope those are the, the tables within the database that you need to look into it the one that controls the installation of no marker is this one here called secure so you click on secure now you open the program that allows you to see all the data that's inside this secure table within the DB within that particular database now here we're gonna look for the line where it says install non apps no market apps you see how it says here it says zero that's why it's locked up we can't install anything so this on my phone is on line six but in your phone it may be different so you click on the line above and you go to the um, edit the field or edit the record you're gonna go edit the record in here you jump to the value and you back and you change that to a one now theoretically you're supposed to back this date this this uh, folder and this database out so we should do that just in case something happens and it's wrong so let's go ahead and back up and we're gonna copy this that's what we need to do let's put it in a different directory and I'm sorry for doing that guys but better be safe than sorry right so let's put it into the SD card and since I have my other file under the download I'm gonna just paste it in here okay now that's done and we have at least the original backup here let's go back into the root we're gonna go back to the database DB data folder into the database folder and finally we're gonna go back and find that dot com dot android dot providers dot settings and again that's the settings DB that we need and we're gonna open the table that's called secure and within the table now yes we're gonna modify this line called install non market apps and we're gonna to go to the menu edit the record again we're using the SQL light as you see here this is the program that allows us to change anything okay now you could do this on the computer as well but you can do it right here on your Android phone totally untethered from your laptop we're gonna save this and uh, oops it says here fail to save so we need to do one more step here that I forgot and 
when you open the root you may need to do this first which is mount read and write and let's see if we can do that if not we may have to do it in a, di in a different way by modifying the the copy not the one that's running because this one here it's still running and it's probably loaded on memory but let's try this way now I've done this a couple of times but I don't I did it one way and it worked and let's see update failed unable to open the database begin exclusive so it's open sorry about that guys we're gonna have to go back and get our copy that's located on our SD card and we put it under the downloads